think about our unit economics on this. Like our unit economics are going to be pure trash. We're sitting on probably like a thousand fizz in a can cans in the office. On a scale of one to 10, I'm like a one on excitement for fizz in a can. <laughs> no. There's nothing wrong with it, but like it's plain seltzer water. Nobody wants that and no one's going to want to experience reordering after they get a can of plain seltzer water. I agree. I'm not excited about seltzer water at all, but like we have it. Now we can focus on the more important things, which is not the product in my opinion, but I could be wrong and the product could be very important. Maybe I'm not seeing it from that perspective. It's not that it isn't important. It is important. Like, I don't know. You go, Mark. The thing that I'm like thinking of, we've talked about the wellness product as like a play on the Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff. That helps us get in front of people, which is, I think, a pretty important part of this that seltzer doesn't quite hit. Maybe there's a way to position it, but I, it's not apparent to me. Yeah. What, I, do you, what do you wish the holiday seasons was like? Uneventful, boring, everything just worked <laughs> as you intended it to. What's the most boring, functional such a thing you can think he of? He is such a marketer, kids. Bubble water. <laughs> The only reason I say that is like, guys, we're marketers. Like we can, fi- we can figure anything out. All right. 